Rindis Mundis is about three very unique people and individuals and their relationship with Karen Carpenter, but also with each other and their bodies and their identity. The character that I'm writing is a 37-year-old Karen Carpenter impersonator called Sharon. She's got a long legacy of performing, but things aren't necessarily going as well for her at the moment. All of a sudden, she finds out that she could be pregnant. Uh, and that changes her whole life. So my character is Jay, and he's a 24-year-old drag queen from South Yorkshire. Jay idolises Karen, uh, and it's something that you see quite a lot within gay culture. Gay men idolising really tragic stories of, of women. You've got your, your Judy Garlands, your Whitney Houstons, your Amy Winehouse, and your Karen Ann Carpenters. So Finn is a young LGBT man who also happens to have a disability. Uh, he has problems with his independence and understanding his place in the world. He views the world very much as a dangerous place, something that will harm him or let him down in some way, so as a result he avoids everything. He doesn't really fit anywhere and he's trying to basically put his stamp on the world and take a step out into the real world. The reason Karen is so important to the story is really actually a lot to do with not just the way that her life was structured and the things she had to go through, but actually this wonderful beauty that we find within her. Not just a look and her aesthetic, but her voice. And I think that's really what the play is exploring is all of these terrible things that happen to all of us, but within it there's this wonderful, beautiful sound that kind of creates something so warm and magical. I think what I want audiences to get out of it is an understanding of the complexities when it comes to young gay men's relationship with their bodies. What I would want the audience to take away from this is that disability isn't something to be feared, disability is something to be understood and cherished and really looked at as an element of a person. Each of the characters have a different facet. Sometimes it's around queerness, sometimes it's about disability, sometimes it's just about ageing. But actually those are such huge common themes that we all experience. And it's really about unifying that experience for an audience along with the performers. Mm -hmm.